Hi and welcome. Our task for today is to find the value of AB, given that log to base 8 of A plus log to base 4 of B squared is equal to 5, and log to base 8 of D plus log to base 4 of A squared is equal to 7. First of all, let us remember the law of logarithm that says that log A plus log B is equal to log A multiplied by D. Now, seeing this and looking at these two equations, we know that we will get a term in AB by adding this equation to this equation. So we have that log to base 8 of A plus log to base 8 of B plus log to base 4 of B squared plus log to base 4 of A squared is equal to 12. We can combine these two quantities since they are in the same base and we can combine these two quantities since they are in the same base to get according to this law that log to base 8 of a multiplied by b plus log to base 4 of a squared multiplied by b squared is equal to 12. Let us remember another law of logarithm that says that log m raised to power p is equal to p multiplied by log m. And then let us look at this quantity. So we know that this quantity, which can be written as log to base 4 of a multiplied by b squared, is the same as 2 times log to base 4 of a multiplied by b. So we can write this whole line as log to base 8 of a b plus 2 times log to base 4 of a b is equal to 12. Having gotten to this point, it will be best for us to work in the same base. And then we must remember that log to base A of B is the same as log to base X of B divided by log to base X of A. So the question here is what is the best base for us to work in? We have base 8 here and we have base 4 here. We know that these are multiples of 2. So it will be best for us to work in base 2. So we have that. Converting this quantity to base 2. We have that. Log to base 2 of AB. Divided by log to base 2 of 8 plus log to base 2 of 2 has to be here because of this 2. A, B divided by log to base 2 of 4 is equal to 12. Now, we can simplify this quantity and we can simplify this quantity because we know that if log to base 2 of 8 is equal to y, then 2 raised to power y is equal to 8. That is, 2 raised to power y is equal to 8. And of course, we know that 8 is 2 raised to power 3. So since we have 2 here and we have 2 here, that means y is equal to 3. So we can replace this whole quantity by 3. This is equal to 3. In the same vein, if log to base 2 of 4 is equal to x, then we simply have that 2 raised to power x is equal to 4. That is 2 raised to power x is equal to 4. And of course, we know that 4 is 2 raised to power 2. Since we have 2 here and we have 2 here, we know that x is equal to 2. So we can replace this quantity with 2, giving us that
log to base 2 of AB divided by 3 plus 2 times log to base 2 of AB divided by 2 is equal to 12. We have two fractions. We need to combine them into one single unit. And we know how we do that. We multiply this quantity by this quantity. We write the plus. We multiply this quantity by this quantity. We draw the line. We multiply this quantity by this quantity. So what we have is 2 times this is 2 log to this 2 AB plus 3 times this is 6 log to this 2 AB divided by 3 times 2 is 6 is equal to 12. To get rid of this 6, we must multiply both sides of this equation by 6. So we have that 2 log to base 2 of AB plus 6 log to base 2 of AB is equal to 12 times 6, which is 72. Now we have log to base 2 of AB here, and we have log to base 2 of AB here. So we can factorize that out, which means that we have log to base 2 of AB into 2 plus 6 is equal to 72. This is simply 8 times log to base 2 of AB is equal to 72. So we have that 8 times log to base 2 of AB is equal to 72. So we divide both sides by 8, giving us that log to base 2 of AB is equal to 9. Once more, to find the value of AB, we have that 2 raised to power 9 is equal to AB. That is, 2 raised to power 9 is equal to AB. And that's our answer. You can leave it in this form or you can evaluate it. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you learned something. See you in the next one.